Well, we've all seen those terrible images from the wildfires in Australia and all of the impacts they're having on the animals there. Here is a positive story that hits a little closer to home. It's a unique new petting zoo in the works. This is no average petting zoo. All of the animals come from the land down under. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui has more from the woman whose dream is about to come true. My first word was probably horse. For an animal lover like Laura Kegel. I think I've had pets since I could walk and talk. There's an extra bounce, not only in her step, but in her home, now that she owns her own kangaroos. Kegels bought her first kangaroo just three years ago, and today she has 12. The babies are bottle fed and cared for inside until they're old enough to live in a heated barn out back. Kegel usually takes her troop on the road. We've done things like the Niagara County Fair, we've done the Orleans County Fair, we've done the Eden Corn Festival. But soon she'll open a petting zoo called Niagara County Down Under on her property. We have had so much water this year, um, you know, getting the equipment in here to get the post set and stuff like that. I mean, of course, we already have appropriate enclosures back there for them. Um, we just don't have the enclosure ready to bring the people in. Kegel plans to build eight foot high fences on this two acre site. She also needs to get insured before allowing visitors to bond with the bus. She says it won't be open nine to five. Instead, she plans to host private tours. We're going to allow people right in with them, right into their habitat, into their enclosures. Um, you can sit here like I am, hold the babies, feed the babies. Kegel hopes to have the attraction open by late spring. It would be the only one of its kind in all of western New York, and she believes it'll be well received. People absolutely love the kangaroos. They love interacting with them. In Sanborn. Come here, there's my boy. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.